Welcome to 3CI training videos. My name is Ron Shaw and this is going to be a short video on how to do the basic configurations of a PIX, Cisco PIX firewall. Now first let's begin with our topology. Now as you can see here this will be our PIX firewall that we're going to be configuring. By the way it's a Cisco uh, uh, 515R uh, uh, PIX firewall. Now on the outside I'm using the 192.168.1.0 with a CIDR notation of 24 which equates to 255, 255, 255.0. Now typically this uh, area here would be a, pro uh, excuse me, a public IP address. Also note that the interface IP address is going to be a 254 address here for the host ID and a dot one for the host ID here on the router for the uh, ISP. Now on the inside I'm using the 10.0.0 um, network with a CIDR notation of 24 and my um, inside interface is going to have a IP address of 10.0.0.1. Now in later videos I'll talk about how to configure these devices to allow individuals from the outside here to gain access into and, and to the resources here. Now just be advised that typically I'd like to put these in some type of DMZ, another prong off of this firewall right here. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, let's go ahead and bring up, I've already got um, a putty up and running and it's uh, already been um, up to the uh, user exec mode. I'll go ahead and log in. Now, the first step we're going to do is give it a host name. So I'll go host name uh, 3CI. Oh. I, uh, you see I'm in the wrong mode. So first we'll get up, oh, spell right, with fake T. Now I'll just give it the host name 3CI. Now from here, from the configuration mode, let's go to our outside interface. Now that's going to be interface E Ethernet 0. Now, we just want uh, 0 having the lowest security level by default on the Cisco router. First thing I'm going to do is give it a name, name interface outside. And you can see here, it give it the IP, uh, uh, security level of 0. Next, I'll give it an IP address. And we're going to go 192.168.1. Dot 254. Remember, let's just verify that. Again, that's right, 254. And then with a subnet mask of 255, 255.250. Now, this is the CIDR notation 24. Now, to take it a second here. Now, there's a couple other commands I can do speed and duplex, but this time, uh, unless I run into some problems, I'm going to let everything just stay at the default at auto detect. Now, if you do have problems, you, you can always set the speed to 10 duplex half uh, to start out the initial test uh, to ensure that it's not a uh, switch or a, a switch to a PIX firewall issue. So now I'm going to issue no shut. All right, now. I, I'm going to exit back one level. Now I'm going to go into Ethernet 1, which is going to be my inside interface. So name, F, name interface, we're going to call it inside. Now it's set to the security level to 100. We'll give it an IP address of 10.0.1 with a 255, 255, 255.0. Um, now again, it'll take a few seconds here. Now I'll do the no shut. Now at this time I'm going to do a quick show interface IP brief. Alright, now you can see I've got both interfaces up. Now I can move to the next part. Now the, in here I'm going to issue the command NAT control and this is so I can invoke and perform a NAT translation. Next thing I need to do is put a global. Now what this global statement is going to say is hey I'm going to when uh, hosts from the inside need to go outside, I'm going to create a pool of addresses that these devices can use uh, uh, for the NAT translation. And again, this will be a public IP address range. So again, I'll just be using a private IP address for demonstration purposes. So the first thing I'm going to do is do uh, my global command. So it'll be global. I'll just hit the tab here. Now the next thing I have to say, define outside, because this is going to be to the outside host. I'm going to give it a, a identification which will be um, a list number one and now from here I'm going to do my range of addresses so I'm going to use range from 20 uh, through 192.168.1.120 uh, now that's going to be about a, that's a hundred IP addresses for my host now I'm going to issue the command net mask 255, 255, oh, .255 now I'll hit enter 
Now the next thing I got to do is define my host on the inside. So it'll be nat inside one again. I'm on it because I am going to use these lists. Uh, Ten dot zero dot zero. Now it's going to say all the hosts that have an IP address of this within this range here, they will use this NAT pool or the global pool to be translated for their addresses. Now, the last important thing is I need to define a route statement. So I'm going to do route outside any source, any destination, and then I'm going to send it to my default, uh, my first router in the hop or the next router interface in the hop. And you can see here, that's the interface right here. Now, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a show run to verify my information. I can see that I've got my interfaces and they uh, all configured correctly uh, with the correct IP addresses. Uh, I've got my NAT control enabled. I've got global in here. I've got my NAT statement. I've got my route statement. Now, the last part of this, what I do, I would just uh, issue the command write uh, mem. Save the configuration and uh, continue on with follow on steps. Now, in later videos, I'll show you how to set there and create access list to allow hosts from the outside uh, or individuals from the outside to come into the inside. I hope you enjoyed this short video and uh, hope to see you back in, um, in other videos. Thank you and have a great day.